Hey, what is up guys? It's me, Alan, and today I'm going to be starting a new series on my channel called Let's Talk Hallyu. So basically, what I'm going to be talking about is anything that has to do with the Korean entertainment industry. From K-pop, K-drama, celebrity scandals, and a bunch of other things. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to be uploading that every single week. Whenever uh, Sompi, uh, uh, Drama Fever, or whatever, they pop an article that I like, or if something's bothering me, controversy, scandals, anything, I'm going to be talking about it, and it's going to be fun. Because I like talking about stuff, and I like talking, talking. So unfortunately, the first episode is not going to be all that entertaining. Well, not necessarily all that entertaining, but all that funny. Because it's going to be very, very serious. Because I'm a YG stan, I'm a blackjack myself. So it really, really, really affects me a lot. So let's get started. So 2 to one has officially disbanded. Man, I was really, I was really having a really good Thanksgiving, you know, I was with my family, I was enjoying, I was enjoying everyone's company, we were talking, we were singing, we were doing a bunch of stuff, and that night, when I was just about to go to sleep, I checked, uh, my Korean news, and it was like, 21 has disbanded, and I'm like, bruh, really? You really gonna smack me across the face during Thanksgiving and be like, hey, your favorite girl group just freaking disbanded. <laughs> To anyone is my ultimate bias group. I love all of them. I love all of them so much. I love, excuse me, I love Minzy, I love Park Mom, I love CL, I love Dara. I love all four of them so, so much. So when Minzy freaking left the group, I just lost my cool. Like, my friend was like, hey, did you hear what happened? I was like, yeah. And I was literally in the corner, like, rocking back and forth, like, what am I going to do in my life now? Because Minzy left the group. She... I don't have a bias in Tuning One either because I love them so much and they're so talented as individuals as they are a group. So when Minzy left, I was already hella sad and I was like, Tuning One with three members is not going to be the same, but I'm still going to support them no matter what because I love them and I was there for them since the beginning and you know, I just like them so, so much. Whenever someone would ask me like, hey, what's your like top favorite girl groups? I'm like, oh, it's easy dude, Twice, AOA. Blackpink, IOI, blah, 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 right? But then I wouldn't even, then afterwards I'd be like, but my ultimate bias, not even on the list, is 21. Because they are above and beyond. And honestly, I was waiting for a comeback since like last year for 21. I waited, 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 and waited. And there was rumors speculating around that they're going to, after Minzy left, they were going to be like, hey, we're going to have a come back this November, so I was like, oh, I'm so excited, November, Thanksgiving, when is it gonna come out? Is it gonna come out December? How come no one's talking about 21? Next thing you know, they disbanded. I'm like, dude, how are you gonna do that to me? When we all, our blackjacks waited so long for 21 to come back, and then no, you guys disband, like, oh. Last time I remember them performing together was at the Mama Awards, like last year. It was amazing, it was so, so, good. CL was singing hello bitches. She was like feeling herself and then she was like, you know, she's like Hana through said bitches. But I was like Hana through set. And then like all the 20, 20 members, 21 members started coming up slowly and then they were like singing uh, Fire and they sing a bunch of other songs and I was like that performance was amazing. It was phenomenal. It was the best performance. Best Best. It was the best performance of that night, and that was the highlight of Mama 2015 for me. Honestly, for me, that shit was freaking amazing. I admit, like, I cried. Like, I didn't cry, like, <laughs> but I cried, like, I was watching it and I was teary eyed, and maybe like one or two drops came out each eye, but you know, I was, I was like cleaning it left and right because I was like, come, baby, baby, come, come, bum, Oh my god, dude, how am I gonna. <laughs> All my YG stands out there, man. We could get through this with time. Uh, it's such a, honestly, it's such a bad year for K-pop, honestly. There's so many groups that disbanded. There's so many controversies. There's so many scandals. So much shit happened to Korea. And I'm just like, man, 2016 needs to hurry up and get the hell out of here. So, two, so 2017, could, we could flourish in 2017. And then right when we got slapped in the face saying that 21 disbanded, we got slapped again saying that Nam Tae Hyun from Winner left winner and left YG as a whole. He just quit. He quit. <laughs> Why? So according to the articles, it said that he has some sort of mental health issue and although I don't know what it is, I did my research and I still couldn't find out what was wrong with him. He, uh, he decided it was best for him to leave the group and leave YG. And I think he's gonna stop singing for a while or I don't know what's going on with him. But that's what happened. He left winner and he left YG. And basically what happened is that I guess because of his mental health issue, right? It made Winner postpone their uh, 
come back. Right after they debuted, they took like a year or two break, and I was like, man, that was a really, really long time. And I guess he played a part in that, you know, of them having to wait because he had to like psychologically get ready or something. I don't really know. But he is my ultimate bias and winner. He's mad talented. The dude has mad vocals. He is awesome. He is awesome as an individual. I really, really can't believe he's leaving, man. YG, dude, what is going on in your company? If you try to be positive, he's still young. Like his song, I'm Young, whatever. He's still young. I love that song, by the way. But yeah, he's still young, you know? Like, hopefully he gets cured, like, or he he learns to fight his uh, mental health issue so he can come back as a singer and start killing it again because that guy got mad vocals, man. Well, you guys, thank you for watching that video. I'm going to go hibernate and cry for a couple of years. So if you liked the video, please give me a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel because this is only episode one, episode two, three, four, five, two. Infinity is going to be so, so much better and funny and entertaining because this one is really, really sad because, you know, I'm a black jack. I love YG. And I can't believe this happened to us, you know, like it hit us right in the face right before Christmas too. That's like my Christmas present. My Christmas present was them disbanding. Are you serious? Well, that's it guys. Thank you for tuning in. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.